What's up guys, welcome to Apex and welcome to part two of the video I posted about the hidden features for Samsung Galaxy phones. If you have missed part one, go ahead and check out the link in the description or in the comment section. Now let's go ahead and see some amazing hidden features in this video. First one is hiding contents on edge panel on the lock screen. Now if you have enabled the edge panel on the lock screen, anyone can open the edge panel and check out the application icons you have placed on it. Now, if you are someone who don't want those application icons to appear on the edge panel when the phone is locked, then all you need to do is open the edge panel and tap on the settings option. Tap on the kebab menu on the top right corner. Here you will see hide on lock screen option. Just enable this. Now, as you can see, the icons are not showing up when the phone is locked. That is the first one. The second one is high contrast themes. We all love customizing themes on Galaxy phones, right? Now there are plenty of themes available on the Galaxy store and we can also customize the themes using the color palette feature on One UI. Now, apart from these, we do get two beautiful looking themes by default on the phone, which are hiding in the accessibility setting. Let's go to settings and let's tap on accessibility. Here, let's tap on visibility enhancements. Under colors and clarity here, you can see high contrast theme option. Let's tap on this. Here we've got yellow and blue, and these themes look just amazing. By the way, again, these themes are available on the Galaxy Store, which is directly accessible from the accessibility settings. All you need to do is just download these themes and just apply it. It's a very light theme and it gives a refreshing look on your device. Let's move on. Now let's say you're using Wi-Fi to browse something on your internet browser or let's say on YouTube you're watching some video or any other contents on any, any other application. If at all you lose the Wi-Fi connection, the viewing gets interrupted, which is kind of annoying at times. And then you will go to the settings or you go to the quick panel and enable mobile data. Now, instead of doing this, we have got a very useful feature called mobile data always active, which is available under developer option. Now we all know how to enable developer options. If you do not know, let me just quickly brief you that. Uh, all you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on about phone, tap on software information. Here you will see build number, keep tapping on it. You will be able to enable the developer option, which will sit right here at the bottom on the settings. Just open developer options, search for mobile data always active, or you can scroll down to see this networking option. You will be able to see this toggle here. It says always keep mobile data active, even when Wi-Fi is active. And this is for fast network switching. So when you enable this, the network will quickly switch from Wi-Fi to mobile data in a jiffy. This is something which you need to enable in developer settings. So go ahead and do that. Moving on, the next hidden feature is forced dark mode. Again, this is available in developer options. When this feature is enabled, the applications which don't support the dark mode by default can also be used in dark mode. That's something which you can enable again in developer options. Just open developer options and search for forced dark mode. You will be able to see this option just enable it as simple as that moving on to the next one screenshot is something which we usually take on our phones and we have got multiple ways to do that but there's one simple toggle by enabling which you can swipe your palm on the screen to take a screenshot for this you need to go to settings advanced features tap on motions and gestures at the bottom, you will see palm swipe to capture. Now, if this option is not enabled by default, you can enable this toggle. And whenever you want to take the screenshot, just swipe the palm on the screen to take a screenshot. That is just fantastic. Now let's move on. Let's go to settings. Let's tap on advanced features. And here I'll tap on labs. Now here there are about four toggles. One is multi-window for all applications, full screen in split screen view, which are by default enabled on the phone. And there are two more additional options here. You can see swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split screen. These two features were added on One UI 5 and you can enable them to just swipe from the top right corner to open the current screen into pop-up view or just swipe up from the bottom of the screen using your two fingers to open the current application in split screen view. That is cool, isn't it? Do go ahead and enable them. Next feature is completely removing the animations on the Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, if you're not an animation person, then you can completely remove it and make the phone's UI look very snappier when you use it. To do this, you can go to accessibility settings, tap on visibility enhancements, 
animations. Here you will see this toggle remove animations. Just enable this. Your animations are completely gone. These are the seven hidden features which I wanted to discuss in this part of the video. Part three is coming up soon with some more amazing hidden features. So stay tuned for that. And if you have not watched the part one of this video, you must watch it because there are some incredible features which I've already shared. So go ahead and check that video link in the description or in the comment section. While you do that, be sure you hit the like button if you find this video useful and subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.